All right, so um, this one's just a really nice feel. I would say it's pretty easy to play. You don't even need a pick uh, to kind of get the feel of the song. Um, you just strum with your thumb. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so I'll show you um, all three of those parts and that should be what you need uh, to play this song. Um, just those three different sections. Um, so the verse slash chorus is the kind of the, uh, uh, I would say the most uh, forward moving section of the song where you're kind of switching chords quickly. You're going from this G, you know, moving through some chords kind of quickly. So before we get started, go ahead, hit the like and subscribe so I can keep making these videos for you all. And yeah, let's get into it. So we're doing a really open sounding G. So index finger, second fret of the A, middle finger, third fret of the low E. And again, just strumming with your thumb. And the strum pattern I'm using is down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, a little slower, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So you're gonna do down, up, down, up for that first chord, and that's that G. So for the G, I'm just leaving just leaving everything else open. So your uh, D through high E, all that's open. All right, and you're gonna go to a D chord, but it's kind of uh, just a different positioning. So your index finger's here on the fourth fret of the D, middle finger, uh, fifth fret of the A. Same strum pattern there, down, up, down, up. So if you practice between those two chords, do that a couple times all right next chord is an E minor so um, and again on that D you're just leaving everything open the high E's open so now we're gonna get to E minor so index finger second fret of A middle finger second fret of D all right so all that and we're gonna go to a D2 so index finger hops down to second fret of G, ring finger, third fret of B. So we got. All right, so all that. Finally, we're gonna end up on a C chord. So index finger, first fret of B, middle finger, second fret of D, ring finger, third fret of A. You're gonna stay on that one for four times through that little pattern. Two, three, four. All right. So all of that, just one full round. It starts over. So that's the verse and the chorus, all right? So now um, the other sections I played at the intro, there's um, maybe about, oh, a minute and 30 seconds in, there's a section where it goes from E minor to C. So you're just gonna do that same strum pattern, start on E minor. And switch to C. Back to E minor. it just goes back into the verse chorus pattern after that oh, sorry so it'll go back into that so the E minor to C thing um, index finger again second fret of A middle finger second fret of D now what's nice about this if you leave your middle finger down it kind of works as a pivot to get to that C chord see that so right 
All right, so that's those uh, two sections. So we got the verse chorus, that little E minor to C thing, I guess we could call that maybe a pre-chorus. Um, then there's a little bridge thing um, where I was doing the A minor. minor to D2 so that a minor index finger first fret of the B middle finger second fret of the D ring finger uh, second fret of the G E minor real easy again leave that middle finger down as a pivot from the A minor just slap your index finger up there second fret of the A jump down to D2 all right so a little slower for all that and I want to say it does just a whole note on the last D2. I could be wrong though, but just use your ears and listen for that. And that should be all the uh, pieces to the puzzle. So that should get you playing through this song. Um, if this lesson was helpful for you, go ahead, hit the like and subscribe button, and I will see you on the next video.